thanks for stopping by my channel. We're going to be doing this quick and easy unicorn look using mostly just eyeshadows and a little bit of glitter and some sparkly pink lipstick. I made this horn out of Model Magic. It is super easy, lightweight. Mine currently is just applied with some eyelash adhesive, really thickly applied and made to, waited until I was tacky and stuck it on there. But you could also use um, Prezade or, or Spirit Gum, which Spirit Gum will actually be using on the night of Halloween to keep this down. But uh, I think it looks pretty slick. I'm gonna go stab some idiots with my head. I'm going in with an illuminating primer on my entire face to make sure my makeup stays put. Now I'm going in and I'm concealing any dark circles, redness, or spots on my face that I'm concerned about my foundation not covering up. The foundation I'm using is a mix of a demi matte and a cream foundation just so that it is luminous but still fairly full coverage. And I'm blending this in with a brush and then setting it with a loose translucent powder. Using a mix between this pink and purple shade, I'm going to be going in with a contoured on my temples and below my cheekbones. This is gonna give me a sparkly luminescent look while still giving some definition to my face. I'm using a dual fiber brush to make sure everything is really soft and blended. I really want it to look like my face goes from my natural skin tone right into that shimmery pink and purple with no harsh lines. I'm adding in a super shimmery highlight to the high points of my face to once again add some definition, but also because every unicorn needs to be glittery. With a peachy blush, I'm adding some color to the apples of my cheeks just because I wanna have a little bit of flush to me so that I don't look too flat. I really wanted a fun eyebrow for this look, so I went in with a silver gel eyeliner and did a really defined brow that I'm then topping with a glitter glue in a white, silvery, holographic color. I'm taking this purple duochrome and I'm putting it over my entire lid up to the brow bone and out past the tail of my eyebrow. I wanted this to be really blown out and almost blend into the contour at my temple. This is going to be a nice base for the rest of the colors I'm going to be using. Now with a dark gray shimmery color, I'm going in and defining my crease and the outer corner of my eye for a very slight winged look. Once again, I do wanna keep this soft and kind of smoky just because I want my unicorn to be really ethereal and delicate looking. With a loose white shimmer powder, I'm going from the center of my lid to the inner third to add a highlight shade into the eye look. I'm also taking this highlight shade and bringing it down a little bit along that area I dragged towards the nose with my purple color. Using this fun teal blue shade, I'm adding where I would normally do a white highlight on my brow bone. And I'm also gonna take this on my finger and blend it on my lower lid, once again to smoke it out, but keep it fairly soft. Applying with the finger is gonna give you a lot of pigment, but also allow you to blend the colors on the spot. I'm adding a touch of purple to the lower lid as well. One, to blend it in with the top part lid, but also because why the hell not? Unicorns love pink and purple. I 
I added a long but moderately thin winged eyeliner with a felt tip liner. And now I'm lining my inner waterline with a shimmery peacock blue, which is the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Peacock. I'm going to start taking pinks, purples, and a little bit of white shimmer and creating a crowned area on my head. And I want this to ombre out but go back into my hairline and slightly down the sides of my face. The center part that I'm leaving bare is where my horn is going to be. And since I'm going to have to wipe off the makeup there anyways to stick the adhesive, I don't want to start with too much makeup there to wipe off. With a purple eyeliner pencil, I'm adding a slight starburst pattern. This ended up kind of being covered up, but it still gives a nice definition and a little bit of extra glamour to the look. With a bright purple loose shimmer powder, I'm going in and taking that ombre center and bringing it down into a crown pattern pointed towards the center of my forehead. This is going to create a really nice look that mimics the shape of my horn. I added some purple and black super thick lashes and I also took some eyelash glue and put it in the center spot of my forehead where the horn is going to go. I'm going to let that sit and get tacky for a few minutes while I put on a bright pink lipstick and cover it up with the Too Faced Unicorn Tears Iridescent Lip Cream. This is my all-time favorite go-to lipstick. I wear it all the time even when I'm not pretending to be a unicorn. It's just got this beautiful iridescent blue shimmer. It is not a requirement for this look. You could definitely do it without it, but I couldn't imagine doing it without it myself. Now with my unicorn horn being attached to the tacky glue, I probably could have waited a few more seconds because I don't want to press too hard and deform the horn, even though it's very, very light. And I'm patting some glitter where the excess glue is, a little bit to hide the seam, but also because I wanted a little bit more sparkle on my face. I did go in with a glitter eyeliner and add some glittery lines on my cheekbones, as well as around that crown piece that I devised. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I so appreciate it. If you loved this video or if you have something you want to say this video, if you have ideas, comments, interesting unicorn facts, I don't really care, pop them in the comments. I'm going to check them out and I'm going to respond to you. Also, if you liked this video, subscribe and check out my other videos. There's so much more of that content that I'm putting out and content that I'm planning to put out. This right here is a super easy special effects makeup that anyone can do for Halloween. And I really appreciate you coming by. Thanks guys.